Now to a look at your weather for this Sunday. A look out at SPID traffic moving along smoothly. We've got clear skies out there to kick off your Sunday. Middle to upper 70s across the area, and it's feeling like that dew points in those low 70s. Winds coming out of the northwest at five miles per hour. Winds will be variable throughout the day today from different directions. We'll talk about why in just a minute. Temperatures right now again, middle to upper 70s here from Corpus Christi to Rockport Naval Air Station. The more inland you go, George West Beeville still sitting in those lower 70s here this morning. A look at your radar satellite again, seeing those clear skies from our camera out there. Also seeing clear skies here on our radar satellite. Reminder, there's a flood warning along the Noasis River near Tilden lasting until Wednesday now. We'll continue to monitor that. Otherwise, where our attention is turning is towards this cold front that's draped across North Texas here this morning. Uh, it's giving them some nicer, drier air. For us, though, it'll slowly start to fizzle on out, of course, as it makes its way down into South Texas. Playing that out here through the future cast ahead of it, a few isolated showers will be possible as it moves through Central Texas later on into the afternoon hours. Winds ahead of it going to start to come out of the north northeast. Uh, and you'll notice that here, those are those wind particles coming out ahead of it. Again, it's going to approach South Texas, becoming more dissipated as it does. So this is by 830 later on tonight. So right around sunset and then into our later evening hours, it'll be pushing through the coastal bend, sort of start to fizzle on out and then becoming stationary as we head into our work week. There's not enough moisture for it to work off of, so not going to see a lot of showers with this as it makes its way through, but a few different things that we will see happen just slightly. It's not going to do too much, but our winds again going to start to come out of the northeast later on this afternoon as that cold front approaches and then behind it and then again variable winds uh, throughout the evening and night and then into your Monday still hanging on to those northerly winds behind that front. So that's one of the things that we're going to see kind of change over the next 24 hours. Another is going to be our dew point. So this morning we're sitting in those lower 70s is still in that humid and tropical kind of category behind that front areas in our brush country and to our north are really going to be the ones that dip on down and get a taste of that drier air. Beeville, George West going to be hitting those lower 60s as far as dew points go here in Corpus Christi will still be in the upper 60s, low 70s. So what that really means is we're going to stay humid. You're really not going to notice what a cold front could do for us. That's not until you know October, November. We start to really get that cold and drier air to follow cold front. However, uh, speaking of uh, the another one of the impacts we're going to see is rain chances pick on up Wednesday and Thursday. Again, we mentioned how it's going to become stationary as we head into the work week, which it will allow us to draw into and tap into some moisture that we're going to see push on into South Texas. So it'll be stationary across South Texas into the middle of the work week, playing off of that moisture. We're going to see the possibility of scattered showers Thursday, Friday, possibly even to Saturday, but I'm I'm thinking that we're going to start to see things clear on up. You'll notice temperature is going to drop behind that into those lower 90s as well. Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Lexus. Thank you, Mariah. Those temperatures.